camp of the National Democratic Party and its presidential candidate, Nana Konedu Ajiman Rowling, says that the Electoral Commission must listen and not take um, a defensive stance to views from the public on issues concerning the electoral process. She was speaking to TV3's morning program, New Day, and added that the Electoral Commission does not take the IPAC seriously because it has no legal status. The Electoral Commission in recent times has come under criticism over issues bordering on branding of the Commission, cleaning of the electoral roll and the ongoing limited voter registration exercise. Presidential candidate of the NDP says the Electoral Commission should not downplay views from the public. The Electoral Commission is like a government. So if a government stops listening to the people, what are we going to say? Let us feel the power of the commission and not an individual. Because if IPAC were strong enough or legally um, binding mm. on the electoral commission, at least they would have listened to the rationale of not introducing a new logo when we don't even have enough money to run an election, we are running to our development partners to come and help us to an election. And you are introducing a new logo to make new letterheads, new branding. How much did it cost the taxpayer? We've not been told. We should be told. Every time we are trying to make suggestions, don't fight us. Listen. Be, we are listening, uh, uh, Commission. And say so we will look at it and see how best we can address this issue because we want free and fair elections. Nana Konedu Ajiman Rawlings alleged the economy has been collapsed through corruption. The economy has been collapsed, completely collapsed, through theft, through mismanagement and others. We have moved away from the IMF. Let us run this economy properly. We must be um, honest <laughs> with our finances. The flag bearer of the NDP called for diligence on the part of politicians in the discharge of their duties. We place so much on politics, put a lot of energy on politics. Everything becomes political. You're, you're killing us. We're dying of poverty. And you're telling us that you're transforming our lives. We're supposed to take it. Nobody's to question it. You say you are enhancing our lives, but we are suffering. The lights are still going off. You say it's ended. There's no water coming through the taps. You say, you know, so politics for the sake of politics, I do not agree to that. I don't think that politics should be above the people. Never. The people must always be above politics. On the economy again, she was of the view that overtaxation is hampering the socioeconomic development of the country.